If you want to know the movies that defined the generation born from 1981 to 1996, you should definitely watch our picks for the best millennial movies. All right, you just need to calm down. We need to think for a second. We just need to think this out. Fuck thinking, we need to act. Ah! Number 10. Mean Girls, directed by Mark Waters. Having recently moved to the States after living her life sheltered in Africa, Katie finds herself under the wing of ultimate A-listers, the plastic, the popular, the mean girls. All seems fine until she ends up falling for Aaron, the ex-boyfriend of Regina George. Now it is survival of the ruthless, and as the saying goes, only the strong survive. Now, if you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. Well, I mean, not just you, like, any of us. Okay, like, if I was wearing jeans today, I would be sitting over there with the art freaks. <laughs> Number 9. If you took up-close pictures of my vagina while I was on my period, it would be disturbing, but it doesn't make it wrong. Excuse me? Lady Bird is a 2017 comedy-drama film written and directed by Greta Gerwig. Christine Lady Bird McPherson is a teenager in her final year of high school who wants to leave her hometown Sacramento and go to the East Coast for college. But her mother wants to keep her in California close to her home, while being pessimistic about her future. Can Lady Bird find a way to make her dreams come true? They aren't done, there's white stuff. You know how much you have brambles? Pigs are smarter than him even. I never thought brambles was a genius, okay? Mom, the eggs are not done. Fine, make your own fucking eggs. I wanted to, you won't let me. Number eight. You have seen me. Now it's my turn to see you. Strip. American Pie is a sex comedy film directed by Paul Weitz. This cultural hit not only brought back the iconic teenage comedy, but portrayed a ridiculous exploration of the most absurd teenage years. American Pie follows a bunch of so-called no-hitters that finally decide to take action. On the mission of losing their virginity as soon as possible, they are fated to stumble from absurdity to absurdity. Oh. This is incredible. Oh. 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 oh my God. This is too much. Oh, you see. Oh, there, there that goes. Whoa. Oh, jeez. God bless the internet. Number 7. Spider-Man, directed by Sam Raimi. Life is not easy for loser nerd Peter Parker, a high school student who goes through a painfully ordinary day-to-day -day routine. But just like so often in the genre, things take a turn. After being bitten by a genetically manipulated spider, Peter must learn that with great power comes great responsibility. It is the birth of Spider-Man, the protagonist, but also the icon he is today. It's all yours, man. Number six. So guess what? What? I don't know. I'm pregnant. Juno is a coming-of-age comedy drama film directed by Jason Reitman, completely shattering audience expectations with what might be one of the smartest and simply funniest coming-of-age dramas of the century. Juno tells the story of a teenage girl who suddenly gets pregnant. Hoping that a failed rock star and his wife will adopt the child, her plans get her in trouble when the father of the unborn child falls for her. What should we do? That... Well, you know, I was just... I was thinking I'd just nip it in the bud before it gets worse. Number five. She's DTF. She's down to fuck, man. P and V G. She wants to fuck, man. Superbad is a 2007 American coming-of-age teen comedy film directed by Greg Modala. Seth, Evan, and Fogel are three teenage guys who desperately wish to get laid. When a girl asks Seth to get the drinks for her party, he sees this as a perfect opportunity. With Fogel's new fake ID, the trio plan out how to get the alcohol, but things won't go smoothly for them. You know what that means? By some divine miracle, we were paired up and she actually thought of me. Thought of me enough to decide that I was the guy she would trust with the whole funness of her party. She wants to fuck me. She wants my dick in and around her mouth. Number four. The Fault in Our Stars, released in 2014. This poetic and deeply moving love story about the courage to live and love and the art of mastering fate was directed by Josh Boone. When 16-year-old cancer patient Hazel participates in a self-help group, she meets the charming Augustus Waters and the two immediately fall in love. 
taking on their shared fate in the face of fear. They go on a journey that will decisively change their lives. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're beautiful. Oh my god. I enjoy looking at beautiful people. Yeah, I... See, I decided a while back not to deny myself the simpler pleasures of existence, particularly as you so astutely pointed out, we're all gonna die pretty soon. Number three. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. The Social Network is a 2010 biographical drama film directed by David Fincher and written by Aaron Sorkin. In 2003, Harvard undergrad Mark Zuckerberg begins work on a new concept that eventually turns into the global social network known as Facebook. Extracted from multiple sources, the film captures the emotion of the first intoxicating days of a phenomenon that now modifies the culture of our world. Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest billionaire in history, but for this entrepreneur, success leads to both personal and legal complications. I just slept with Sean Parker. You just slept on Sean Parker. You're a zillionaire. Not technically. What are you? <sighs> Broke. There's not a lot of money in free music, even less when you're being sued by everyone who's ever been to the Grammys. This is blowing my mind. Number two. Boyhood, written and directed by Richard Linklater. This truly breathtaking revolution of movie storytelling follows a boy, Mason, who literally grows up in front of the camera since the movie was filmed over 12 years with the same cast. Seeing the world out of the boy's eyes, we encounter a world that is not much different from our own. The obstacles of family, love, and friendship. Mason, do not throw things at your sister. She's faking. She hit me first. Listen, both of you, I'm going back to bed. I don't want to hear another peep out of here for an hour. Go to sleep. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. What the hell are you looking at, Sister Christian? Just a couple of admitted horse. The mission is this. Infiltrate the dealers, find the supply. We get to be brothers? Infiltrate the dealers, find the supply. What if we find the supplier first? We don't have to worry about the dealer. God damn. Infiltrate the dealers, find the supply. Stop. No, you promise. What? Don't say anything. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. <laughs> Number one. Why do nice people choose the wrong people to date? Hmm. The Perks of Being a Wallflower is a 2012 coming-of-age drama film written and directed by Stephen Chbosky. The movie is about 15-year-old Charlie, a shy teenager who has just joined the high school, coping with first love and the suicide of his best friend while he forces himself to participate in school to prevent himself from falling back into his depression. Luckily, he is taken under the wings of two seniors who welcome him to the real world. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.